We are about to film something for Barbell. I'm never usually in front of the camera, but because Bar and Gio moved to Vegas, they need a new face for Barbell, and that's gonna be me. Oh, all right, guys. You haven't seen anything that we've been doing lately, but we have been adding a little extra touches to our house and making it look like uh, a better and more comfortable space and so we added these accent pillows okay so i've been watching something on netflix it's called uh, dream home makeover and there's still so much work to be done <gasps> it feels so different in here Good i'm blown away they are going to be blown <laughs> away and now i started following them on instagram it's crazy they designed their house and remodeled their houses so nicely that I started thinking about what we can do to our house. And it took me about two weeks to understand the pillow game. The pillow game is real guys. Like just to figure out all these different things and to see if they go well together, that took two weeks to learn. I was never a pillow believer. Cause I just thought like, you know, our parents kind of just raised us to not be wasteful, right? You always have to buy things that are useful. But now I'm just like, I. We don't have to live like that all the time. And I feel different having all these pillows around. I'm actually like, oh, this is nice. Like, oh, we should film here. Or, oh, we should take a picture here. Like, I just, I really like how it looks. It feels comfy. I just like that when I'm sitting here, I can put my arm down and I got a long pillow to just have my arm chill. I love it. So we're doing a little bit of extra touches. We got this uh, pretty big banana leaf plant there. We put up a, a fake plant there. These are all, all fake plants because um, I'm known as the real plant killer. So every time he's like, hey, we should get new plants. You want to buy this one? You want this one? I'm like, no, we're not getting a real one because we can't take care of it. So, yep. Big plants all around the house. The best thing about having pillows is when you have unfinished laundry to do, you can just hide it with a pillow. Ta-da! can't see no laundry right there. <laughs> kids off at Christina's parents house and we're like what can we do today so we decided to do some health stuff so we're gonna go to this uh, it's a pottery barn outlet because you know this buying decors and redesigning your home is very expensive and I'm not used to you know the prices of interior designing like pillows alone are like 20 bucks or 40 bucks some are like 200 bucks and it's crazy so I'm happy that we're going to an outlet to see what they have. I think that's the Asian in us, right? Everything, you know what it is? Like every time I try to buy something, I always hear my mom in the back of my head saying, oh no, too expensive. What are you gonna buy that for? Are you gonna be able to use it five different ways? Put it back. Today, I brought my own food and everyone wanted to order Shake Shack and I knew that if they brought it and I didn't have food, I would regret it. So I had to get myself a Shake Shack. But, oh, fries. I'm on a diet and I still got cheese fries, guys. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You can never say no to Shake Shack, but I did stick within my diet restrictions. So I got a avocado bacon burger. No tomatoes because I still can't have that. And I'm not supposed to be having potatoes or cheese. But I did get french fries and the cheese. You know, sometimes you can't think about a diet. You just got to enjoy life. And that's what I'm going to do today because it's Monday. And at work on Mondays, we need to enjoy our time and not stress about work. So it's a good thing about coming to work out here in downtown. We get to order stuff like this. I wanted to show you guys what I actually brought to work for lunch and it's this guy right here. It's a, a pad thai. You know what? I'm going to leave it here till Wednesday. None of you guys go in the comments and start snitching to Christina about my diet, okay? What did you get, dude? Um, oh my gosh. Okay. Oreo milkshake. You gotta dip your fries in it. 
I've never seen anyone do that ever. Try it. You want to try one? I'm okay. I'm not supposed to be having potatoes, even <laughs> though I order French fries too. I'm telling you, dude, it's really good. That does look really good. Oh, and then I got a um, shack burger. Ooh. A double. That looks delicious. If you guys ever wondered, is an $8 burger worth it at Shake Shack? Yes, it is. Yes. Always. Dean's got his food here. But chicken, he's. Chicken and double shot. She got my favorite burger. The smoke shack? Yeah, that's my favorite. This is Linda, guys. She's new to Barbell. Say hi. hi. And I'm gonna peek at Kelly's real quick. She got some cheese fries as well. Oh, you can't go wrong with cheese fries. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know what's in there. Look at everybody's food has made me hungry. So now I can enjoy my food. No regrets at all <clears throat> but I need you guys to do me a favor go in the comments and say how good I've been doing on my diet and that I did a really I just did a really good job today so Christina can see that we are about to film something for barbell I'm never usually in front of the camera but because bar and Gio moved to Vegas they need a new face for barbell and that's gonna be me no, so no. <laughs> Nope, so, so that's why they chose me to film something right now and I'm gonna do that. You literally asked everyone, not just you. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Good job, Kelly. Thanks, dude. <laughs> oh, I, oh my god, I didn't know you were recording. <laughs> so, we are the new Bart and Geo of Barbell. We did a great <laughs> yes, job, yes. we killed it. <laughs> Well, even Barn Gio don't kiss on camera. Yeah, they do. Well, I, I just fast forward when I see that happen. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Usually the cameraman is always behind the camera, but today they are filming each other with both cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Made it back from work and just finished dinner. I forgot to show you guys what we got for our house. So we actually didn't get anything at that place that we were at. We went to like Ross where we found better stuff. So we picked up two pieces and we're gonna figure out where we're gonna put them, but I wanna show you guys what we got. All right, and I'm actually surprised because I chose these two items and I like how we both actually agreed on it and we were open to trying to figure out where we can put it in the house. You ready? Yep. <laughs> All right, Leah, can you reveal item number one? Can you show everyone this? What is it? She's keeping it to herself. All right. What is going on back there? Whoa. We decided to get this painting because Leia and I love flowers and we want colorful stuff to go with the house and I felt like maybe this is kind of cool. And I feel like the way that the paint is, it kind of reminds me of waves too at the same time. I like it. I like the color. Yeah, awesome. Where should we put it? Um, I was thinking in the restroom, you know how you have your little like uh, baby NBA players and then it fell down. So I think maybe this is time to replace it over the toilet. Hey, is that a new pillow, buddy? <laughs> oh, thank you. Are you wrestling? Oh, good night, Enzo. You gonna go to sleep, Enzo? What are you doing, Leah? What are you guys doing? <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, it's very nice. I know. Thank you, Leah. It's a pretty flower. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. What's up? Why are you so close to the camera? <laughs> what are you doing? Why don't you chew your broccoli that's in your mouth? Yeah, your broccoli matching what? the look, look what she's doing. She's like jamming it into my knees. What are you doing? What's why are you throwing our nice pillows on the floor? I don't know. I was just thinking this is one of the reasons why we were so hesitant about getting all these throw pillows because they just throw them all on the floor. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, let's reveal the second item that we oh got. God. I really like this piece. This is going to change up the way our house looks. Yes. Bam. Ooh. Yeah. How awesome is this? Hello, guys. That's me right there. Me. We're standing there for a while too because like we're not really um, 
into like interior designing. I mean, I don't know too much about it, but like we we're staring at this, trying to figure out like where should we put it. But should we put it back there behind you? I feel like that might actually be really nice. Or because... should we put it here, where this ABC thing is? I know. You know, I this know. is for the kids' room. You put that in the living room. Yeah, like. Whoa, oh, that's kind of cool. That's pretty cool. Nice, okay. Wow, that actually looks really good. Yeah, this is actually a really good size. I think originally we wanted to get a mirror here too, but we want to get the big ones. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen it in Joe's room, but I want something like that in there. And I mean, this is kind of nice too, but I think I liked it over there. I like it over there Me more. Too. Awesome. Go Leia. We. All right, Enzo. Oh, just like that. So spiky, it is spiky. Oh, please be careful. All right, how? Oh, oh, it's this little hook thing. I feel like we're gonna have to adjust it because we're gonna want to place it. Wow, that's a death trap. Is that? My finger. <laughs> no. See, that's what I'm saying. Oh my god. Okay. So the house when we got it, it had these three screws in there, and we never did anything to it. And I feel like we're finally gonna have to because this is probably not gonna go up there, and I can't even reach. I cannot reach it. Come on, shorty. Oh, no. Oh. oh. Well, that's a start. It's that's extremely start. high. Yeah, it's going to have to be like in the center of it, but I think this is a nice spot for it. Enzo, you're going to break our mirror before we even put it up. Get off! Hey, get off. Get off! Oh my goodness. This guy. You're the heaviest <laughs> one here. I usually don't like cleaning these little tags on because it always is hard to come off but hopefully that works look, look this guy is the heaviest one here look at his belly look at the belly oh my goodness look at your belly all right so i'm gonna spray it with some glass cleaner and then use a dishwashing soap sponge and it's supposed to come off easier i mean coming off a little easier but better than trying no. to peel it and it leaves residue all right Wow, good it job. Hurts. Is it? Is it clean? Oh, it's pretty clean. Yeah, look. Because I hate it every time I peel it and then it leaves the like sticker residue and then I gotta like... Well, to it's up it to off. Enzo's decision. Enzo, does it clear your inspection? Are we Are we all good? Did I pass the test? Oh my god. This, oh you're my getting god. footprints all over. What are you doing? I think... <laughs> <laughs> Stop, son. So now we're gonna do the most important part, which is the most professional way to do it, eyeballing. Oh, all right. Then it doesn't get more professional than that. Dude, I don't even know where to grab this. Like, what the heck? Yeah, dude, my finger got stuck earlier. Ouch. Are you okay? Do you need a pencil so you can mark it? You got it? Do I need to do it? Yo mama, got it. Yeah. Ooh. I like it. Awesome. So now we just gotta find other things to kind of go with it, but I do like how it looks. So whenever I see stuff like those sun ray mirrors, I always think is that part of those spiritual stuff where people always practice uh, the moon, the full moon stuff and crystals and rocks. Like, is that what it is? Possibly. I feel like, I think so, but I also feel like it's kind of like feng shui at the same time too, because it's like having mirrors in certain positions where it's supposed to like, make all the spirits afraid of like coming into the house and all this other stuff so i feel like it's just a little bit of everything you're supposed to put that outside the door oh yeah. but can we open this guy okay. and and let's put the painting up oh so we're gonna commit and keep this too yeah all right into the bathroom all righty we're gonna put it right here oh that's beautiful Ooh. Wow, I like that. Dig it. Awesome. Very nice. That has a really nice touch yeah, to it. Yeah, it feels better already. Alright, so this bathroom, guys, this is our guest bathroom. And it's the only part of the house that hasn't been remodeled. It's very old style, like early 2000s. You know, it's got the brown Spanish tiles. Uh, it has these brown drapes that we never changed. And then the bathroom walls have these tiles as well. And I've been wanting to get rid of these guys. And then there's this brown sink. So it's very brown in here. And I don't really like how it is right now. 
And I feel like we should change it. What do you think? I think so. I feel like um, maybe we can put like like a marble kind of design on top. I feel like I want to make it more of a white kind of bathroom. You could get white granite too. Yeah. In the middle of the night, I've been you. Why are you pushing me? He's attack, pushing me. Attack, Enzo, attack. What the heck? What is he doing? Even harder. Attack, attack. What is? No, get him. Attack, what? attack. Uh oh. Dude, this is like football. Attack of the Maw Clan. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I was trying to say that um, I've been YouTubing on a lot of how to remodel your home, how to break this tile, how to break that and replace it. So I've been thinking about if I should do this on my own, guys. Like, is this something that I can do myself? I've never done anything like this before. So comment below if you think I can do this and if I should and bring you along that process because I'm really thinking hard about it or if I should just pay someone. All right, so I want to show you guys what this box is that's sitting in our living room and this is for Leia, Great Creations Art Center. So all she loves to do is paint, color, anything that's to do with arts and crafts. And so we bought her a painting station and that's what this guy is. And then those boxes over there is an easel board so she can paint outside. So we got an indoor and an outdoor painting station for her. And maybe in the next video, I will be building it and then we'll see how she likes it and if she, you know, if she wants to continue painting. I already know she's gonna love it because all day she asked about painting. What's in your hand? Are you, did you color something? Show everyone your work of art because when daddy puts your art station up, you get to paint all over it and draw and color. What is it? Ooh, how come? Wow, she has yellow eyes. Oh, and she has a bloody nose. No, she has lipstick. Oh, bloody nose. it looks like she got punched in the face. Look at this drawing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you gave yourself a face tattoo? Like daddy? Oh my gosh. We got tattoos, Leia? It looks like Mr. Potato Head. All right, guys. If you ever wondered, do your tattoos affect your younger kids? They yeah, do. they they do because she drew herself a happy face tattoo. So in her happy face, this is the hair, the eyes, the nose, and a smiley face. <laughs> I love it. Good job. All right, can mommy have a smash face? Whoa! Again, again, I didn't, I I, I missed it. Oh, this is too fast. One more time. Yeah. Wow! I can I get kisses. some of that? Ow, she oh, oh, it's a headbutt now. <laughs> can I get some? Oh, thank you. Oh! <laughs> Say, thank you. Thank you. Say, I love you. I love you. So shy.